Next on Comcast Newsmakers, it's right around the corner. Hear how funds from Komen Race for the Cure help fight breast cancer locally. Hi, welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Sabrina Register. Today we are in Seattle at Seattle City Hall and joining me right now is David Richard, who is Executive Director of the Susan G. Komen Puget Sound. Thank you so much for joining us. It's a pleasure to see you. Thank you. You as well, Sabrina. Before we talk about Race for the Cure, which is just around the corner, as I mentioned, and, and super exciting, talk a little bit about breast cancer statistics, because when people hear them, I think they're somewhat surprised, especially how the Puget Sound area or the Northwest rates in comparison to the rest of the country. Yeah, we are um, typically the Seattle, actually the whole state, is first or second or third highest in terms of new infection rates for breast cancer. And do we know why that is? We don't. There's, there's been some research here at the Hutch and at the UW. Uh, some of the funds that are raised here locally uh, are turned around and given into uh, research for, the, for looking for ways in which this, uh, this terrible illness happens in our region, but we don't have the answer to it yet. Mm. Talk a little bit about how the money that is raised here stays local in terms of funding different programs? So traditionally we give between one and two million dollars away every year uh, through the funds that we raise through things like the race um, and we fund programs all throughout the region uh, to look for uh, low-income folks that uh, need screenings and uh, mammograms. Last year we funded over 10,000 mammograms for women in the Northwest. Which may surprise a lot of people because I think when they hear Susan G. Komen, they hear Race for the Cure, they think of those who have already been diagnosed with breast cancer but you're also about preventing Right, right, and education and screenings. We fund um, navigators, we fund folks that are out helping women to go through their experience for those that have been diagnosed with, dance, with cancer. Um, so it's a variety of uh, programs that we fund uh, all up and down the I-5 corridor. Mm. Let's talk a little bit about Race for the Cure. Yeah. For those who have never taken part in Race for the Cure, explain uh, sort of the atmosphere because it might be different than what people think. Oh my gosh. Well, let's just say there's a lot of tiaras and tutus. <laughs> it's very fun. Yeah. Um, and there's a lot of uh, camaraderie, um, a lot of uh, folks that are there for the first time, maybe who have been just diagnosed. Um, so it's somber, but it's also a way for people to raise money to sort of fight back. Um, and so we want people to come and celebrate their victory and to help us to support them in their struggle. So yeah, it's a very fun day. And you know, 45% of what is raised uh, year round for us comes from this race. So it's a really important fundraiser for the organization. 45%. Yeah. Yeah. Quite a bit. Yeah. And we turn around and give that money out to the community. So that's the, that's the really key piece. Right. Is that the money stays here. Right. Right. Exactly. For those uh, who have not registered yet, and they may be thinking, gosh, I'd love to do that, but you know, it's right around the corner, I didn't do it, darn it, I'm gonna have to do it next year, you say what? Oh, I say register today. Absolutely, you can register all the way up to race day. So absolutely, come so on. So even race day, you can, absolutely. You can join in the fun Oh day. yeah, Okay. oh yeah, absolutely. And of course people can still donate, even if they aren't gonna race, Right. they can yep. give. There's lots of teams organized. Yep, and we actually allow donations to come in 45 days after the race, so people can donate all the way up into the 15th of July. And how long have you all been doing the race? Oh my gosh. Years and years. 20, something 20 like years, that. Yeah. 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 So this is a, an important tradition as well as fundraising. This is something that we all know here, Race for the Cure, and it will continue. Oh yeah. And I think for our survivors, it's a, it's a day for them to come together and sort of celebrate the fact that they survived and that they made it through this. And that's one of the most important pieces. We want all the survivors to come out. Fantastic. They, David, thank you so thank much. Thank you, Sabrina. And thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers. Headline news coming up at the top and bottom of the hour. Hope you can stay with us.